evening. Welcome to the Town of Woodbridge Board of Finance uh, regular meeting today, October the 17th, 2024. Um, to my right, we have uh, Javier Avilas, um, Donovan Lofters, uh, Vice Chair, or Chairman Susan's not here today. Beth Heller. To my, Beth Heller. And Dwayne Rowland. And our Tony Genovese. Tony Genovese. <laughs> Um, open the floor for public comments. There was no public comment. Public comments. I'll turn it over to Tony. Thank you. Their, uh, finance report. I, um, I have a re your um, financial report and information through September, which is the first quarter of the fiscal year. Um, being so early in the year, there are no significant surpluses or deficits to report. The, um, the town fund balance. Um, Ha, the budget has a an allocation from fund balance built in for of eight hundred thousand dollars in the budget process, which means that would decrease our fund balance uh, uh, at the end of the year to eight point one million dollars, or just under fourteen percent of our annual expenses. There are a couple of things I would like to bring to your attention. First is that uh, we're monitoring our electricity accounts uh, due to the uh, increase in the public benefits charge, and. Um, so uh, I give you some examples of the charges. The fire, the fire station is $1,200 for September. Center building was $1,500. So we calculated um, the large portion of the charge is through April. Uh, there's two parts to the public benefit charge. There's, the, um, a, there's an assessment of millstone. And um, there's the um, sort of repayment for um, accounts that were not paid during COVID. So um, back to the utilities. So um, the um, past the overdue account, or the unpaid account uh, portion, I'm told, is going to end around April or so. And so that just leaves the millstone piece. Everybody's getting hit with this. Yeah. So ours is about sixty. <laughs> it'll be about sixty thousand dollars this year wow. overall. Overall for all of our accounts. You mean the, the added cost <coughs> over and above. Correct. What we just the town, not yeah. including the school or Amity. Is that a percentage of your bill? It's, it's based off, and yeah. Is, is, are I'm not exactly yeah, sure are municipality, how it's municipalities charged differently than We have a lot of the same charges. The, okay. Wow. I, mean, I didn't mean humans. I mean, you know, cl <coughs> clients in the, in the world. What does that include? FD2? Yep. Yeah, it's, it's every, everything. Six, everything. everything. Yeah. Yeah. The good news wow. is it's, it's not, it's, it ends in April. It's not right. spread over two years. Correct. Like Correct. They initially wanted to do so. It hurts, but it'll be it'll over be soon. Over, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that's so good. So we just know. keep an eye on that. Oh. We may have to transfer some money into some of the uh, departments yeah, depending on our usage this year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. that, Me too. That's, that's what I a lot know. of people have been complaining about. Right. I know. The millstone and the. Yeah. Interesting. Um, the second was uh, election costs. <clears throat> so um, we received a $12,000 grant from the state uh, for that, but um, our, our um, costs are somewhat significant. And so. I anticipate we'll have to uh, contribute to that as well. So. That's an unfunded mandate, yep. correct? Correct. Well, sort of. I mean, they funded some of it. Small funded. Yeah. Partially okay. funded. Yeah. Very small portion of it. Yeah. Funded. Wow. So, um, so that's the um, highlights so far. Tony, can I ask a question related to the the electricity thing? Sure. Um, when can we see, or when, or how, will we see any reporting in terms of the impact on the charging stations in terms of like reducing the library's allocation so or we any have, kind of revenue that we realize from I, that? I can, um, I can tell you that um, this doesn't have the detail. It's in the detail accounts. Um, you've collected, do you have the detail accounts over there, Gay? I do. What, the big report? Yeah. See, I don't, I don't print that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I can tell you exactly how much we've collected so it far. Okay. It's not much, by the way. No, I was going to ask because yeah. every time I drive by, I don't see a lot of cars plugged in. It, it's different now. <laughs> it's, uh, it, well, it used to be free. Then yeah. All of a sudden, now yeah. So through September, I've created a new line item for it. So I was going to ask you what it. line item that was. Yep. Building maintenance revenues. It's uh, 1-5-3700, 45700. So far, through September, we collected $103.97. Oh my you know. God. And that's wow. starting, when do we start that, in April? Well, this was only through July, August, and September. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
<laughs> so it's like twenty, thirty dollars a month, roughly. Yeah. Do we have to pay? Do we have to pay for that unit being there? We that we receive grant money for. Oh, we most, do. For okay. I'd say probably half to sixty percent of yeah. it. Yeah. And uh, and then we chart. We put a fee in there to collect for the electricity, mm -hmm. so we can reimburse for that. So. Um, but the impact there is twofold because it's not just the revenue we receive. It's not. We're now we're not giving away energy for free. Right, right. To right. the parks there all day and all right. weekend. Right. So let's see. What, well, I'm curious That's to see what true. the impact is on the electric bill compared year to year and how it would probably go down as a yeah. result of not many people That's using it. That's what I was curious you know, about. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. I'll keep an eye on that. Thanks, yeah. Tony. Okay. Uh, those are my highlights. I guess uh, next item on the agenda. Audit. Uh, so the audit status. We are on the middle of our field work for our audit. Um, and uh, so that what that means is um, planning parts over the summer. Uh, now they uh, we've provided them the financials. They do some testing on the financials. They test our transactions. They um, they review our fixed assets, our investments, all aspects of our financial operation. And um, we hope to have a draft of our audit around Thanksgiving, maybe a little later, early December. And um, so far, we're still on target to finish by the end of the uh, fiscal year. So, well, most of it, interestingly enough, used to be mm -hmm. we'd have like two or three people parked at that table for like three weeks. I remember weeks, those right? days. You couldn't come in here. <laughs> <laughs> Papers everywhere. Oh. Yeah. Now, we upload <laughs> almost everything to the internet. Yep. And like um, the fixed asset person is in, uh, Ill is in Chicago. Mm -hmm. The... Uh, <laughs> Bank statement person is in Texas. Yep. The, you know, I think they've consolidated so everything like, got by function. They've it. consolidated right. a lot of their operations. Well, so yeah. it's not one person doing everything. Yep. Yeah. It, it was like specialized. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, a lot of the other firms are shipping work overseas. And it's yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, unfortunately, the audit fees don't seem that. Nope. They reduce. went up the audit fees. As There's no more fact. travel expenses, and you know. <laughs> <laughs> but the fees remain the same. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> You're always thinking, though. So. <clears throat> Good job. We're yep. always thinking. So <clears throat> that's the um, highlight there. Um, the next item on the agenda um, are the budget meeting dates. Yeah, so um, these are the budget meeting dates for the uh, next budget uh, cycle. So these are, um, if you could um, vote on these, then we will we will adopt them as the official schedule and we will uh, circulate it. I'll make a motion to get it going that we approve the Town of Woodbridge Department of Finance um, budget dates for the budget fiscal. It's the is it 26. the year of the 2025-26? Yeah. Wow. Second. Okay. <clears throat> all in yes, favor. All in favor. Aye. 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 All right. Thank you. And um, funding requests. So. The first one we have is um, line item transfer 2425-03 in the amount of $12,445. And this is in regards to the early board voting grant funds. You're moving funds from the grant funds to the register of polls workers budget line as a transfer? That's correct. Um. Any... any um, I'll make a motion. We approve light item transfer number 2425-03 in the amount of $12,445. Second. I'll second All in favor? Aye. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, the next one, um, funding <coughs> request number 2425-04. And this is moving $10,000 from contingency for for higher than anticipated liability insurance rates in 10805 from contingency for higher than anticipated workers' comp rates. Um, any, anything to discuss there? I'll uh, make a motion. Yeah, after we motion. approve funding request 2425-04. Second. Uh, the one thing I want to mention is on the uh, liability insurance rates. Uh, two areas where we've had some increases. One is the um, cyber insurance, uh, and the other is in our umbrella. We've um, increased our umbrella uh, simply because um, this Connecticut has uh, no sort of tort cap, no uh, uh, or no cap on uh, penalties for you know that we can get assessed. Um, interestingly enough, I think Massachusetts does. 
uh, municipalities, that is. So we've seen a lot, some large, um, so a lot of towns have been increasing their umbrella just because we used to be at 10 million and that's not enough anymore. Mm. <laughs> you can see uh, New Haven, yeah, New Haven was what, 40, 50 million dollars. So that's the other area of, of exposure that we had to shore up. All in favor? Next one. Um, Line item funding fund request line item 2425-05 in the amount of $7,550. And this request is for the purchase of a replacement switch at the library, which is beyond its, its useful life. Which switch is this? It's a network switch. Network. Uh, it's okay. a voiceover. We want to put in voiceover IP for our telephones, which will save us money uh, and um, improve our functionality. In order to do that for the library, we, we're hoping to do this next year. But in order to do that for the library, we have to replace the switch, which mm. is very old. It's 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 doing okay with the network traffic, but for the voice over IP, um, we need to replace it. Yeah. yeah, I'll make a motion that we uh, we approve funding request number twenty four twenty five dash zero five in the amount of seven seven five five zero. Second. All in favor? Yep. Um. I'll, uh, I'll move to the approval of um, September 19, 2024 minutes. Second. Any objections? No, no. All in favor? I abstain. I wasn't there. Okay. That's good. Okay. And um, Mika uh, couldn't make it today, so we'll skip the first elections report. Any liaison reports? None. Yeah, I just want to report real quickly on the gym project. Uh, we're wrapping it up. Um, we believe we have a solution because we have to shut down center building in order to tie the electrical in for the new mechanical unit on the roof that serves the gym. You have so to shut down the is that for the HVAC? We have to shut down the entire, the entire building, including the generator. That includes PD. <coughs> but we had a meeting yesterday, walked through everything. We believe we have a plan. In place, so we're working on that, and it's and it, uh, the gym should be available for the election by November 5th. That's not going to be an issue, and also I understand that Human Services has an event scheduled for October 31st, and that's not going to be an issue either. Even if we don't have that, we have we have uh, even if we can't, something happens with the building, we have to get state police. Approval and everything else because it's the 911 and everything. Mm -hmm. If that doesn't happen, we have a, we have a temporary solution to temporarily wire the unit so we can get heat in right. the space right. if needed. Right, right. right. How long Five, will it good. be down? Two hours. Oh. It's only it's just like a okay. three to gotcha. it's like a two to four a.m. Right. Oh. Excellent. Whatever. It's pretty pretty quick. But right. I just you know. But it's it's just about done. Gym floor looks great. It does look nice. Everything came out. Nice. Everything came out good. So yeah. you know, we're just. We you know, have to take our shoes off when we go in. <laughs> we're looking to <laughs> keep it clean. No, we're looking to get it done as, as soon as we can. So, but just, just want to give wow. you an update on that. Early voting is not in the gym, right? It's in is no. that town hall. It's in here. Okay. In this room. Yeah. Thanks, the light. That's my That's support. So. Um, motion to motion adjourn. To adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite. Hi. Uh, okay. Good. Thank you. Look at that. Thank okay. you, Dwight. Great job. Yeah. Thank you. It.